We are the Inland Empire, the two-county Riverside and San Bernardino region, home to 4.5 million people. We are the 12th most populous metro area in the U.S. and in the top five in growth nationwide. This growth is the result of the region's affordable living combined with the 300,000 new housing units required to meet the state's housing plan. Spanning 27,000 square miles, the Inland Empire is on the move. We are moving people, we are moving goods, we are moving our local, state, and national economy forward. And working together, the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority and the Riverside County Transportation Commission are moving the needle to deliver more mobility options than ever before. New public transit opportunities are here. In October, SBCTA opened its Aero Passenger Rail service, providing a new way for East Valley residents to connect to Southern California. Concurrently, SBCTA is delivering the first self-powered zero-emission rail vehicles in North America that could transform rail travel. SBCTA is also supporting the development of the Brightline West high-speed rail service from the high desert that will offer a much-needed transit alternative for travel through the Cajon Pass. Across the county line, RCTC certified its Tier 1 environmental studies for Coachella Valley Rail, a planned 144-mile passenger rail service between Los Angeles and the Coachella Valley. This certification clears a path for in-depth environmental studies to advance this daily intercity rail service to final design and construction. Both counties supported and promoted Metrolink passenger rail use with 50% discounts on all tickets and passes for riders with valid EBT cards, making transit more accessible. RCTC and SPCTA are also working to improve community access to rail stations. In Riverside County, RCTC is upgrading the Moreno Valley Marchfield Station, the Corona North Main Station, and the Riverside Downtown Station. In San Bernardino County, SBCTA looks to further transit attractiveness by linking Metrolink to Ontario International Airport via a subterranean autonomous shuttle that enhances connectivity while minimizing disruption to local circulation. Together, the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles make up one of the largest port systems in the world. The Inland Empire is the gateway to America, with nearly 70% of imported goods heading outside California, traveling through our two counties. Our residents carry the burden to support this national economic engine with added traffic congestion, greenhouse gas emissions, safety conflicts from non-grade separated corridors, and noise pollution. These issues also greatly affect our disadvantaged communities that line these freight corridors. RCTC and SBCTA are sensitive to these impacts and continue to ensure residents have a voice in transportation decision-making. This allows the agencies to deliver critically needed projects to keep goods and people moving. The Inland Empire is getting it done. RCTC is excited to have delivered five capital projects in 2022 the Route 60 truck lanes, the 91 Corridor Operations Project, the I-15 Iterim Corridor Operations Project, the I-15 Railroad Canyon Road Interchange, and the I-215 Placentia Avenue Interchange. The projects are helping residents move safely and efficiently to jobs, school, and leisure pursuits. In San Bernardino County, SBCTA is finishing the I-10 Express Lanes project and widening of State Route 210, constructing new bridges in San Bernardino and Barstow, as well as 15 interchanges throughout the San Bernardino Valley. Construction continues in the Inland Empire on the I-10 Express Lanes in San Bernardino County and the 1591 Express Lanes connector in Riverside County. These design-build projects represent investments that will generate revenue for long-term operations, maintenance, and future improvements along these heavily traveled corridors. Express lanes also help manage traffic demand through pricing, reduce air pollution, and offer express buses for more reliable public transit. RCTC marked five years of operations of its 91 express lanes in March and one year of operations of its 15 express lanes in April. SBCTA and RCTC work collaboratively to promote ride-sharing through our IE Commuter Program, which encourages carpooling, vanpooling, public transit use, bicycling, and walking to work. 
During 2022, IE commuter participants realized significant savings in solo driving costs and greenhouse gas emissions, helping to make our region a better place to live and work. As self-help counties, RCTC and SBCTA are meeting the commitments made to voters through our local dedicated sales tax measures, ensuring transportation funding is available for local transportation projects across our communities. SBCTA and RCTC continue to be at the forefront of transportation solutions. Our region is resourceful and partnerships will be important to meet the challenges ahead. We are working together at the regional, state, and federal levels to bring new transportation investments to inland Southern California. Even with the great progress made in our region, Inland Empire residents still deal with traffic congestion, impacts of goods movement, and limited mobility options impacting access to jobs and quality of living. There is a lot to be proud of in the Inland Empire. Our communities are vibrant, our economy is strong, our future is bright as we continue to partner to deliver innovative transportation solutions for our region.